gonna break down the fuel economy that I be getting with the 2013 F-150 5-liter V8. This is sitting on 22s. I do have 33s with 12 and a half inch wide tires. The wider the tire, the worse the gas mileage. So I wanted to make sure we were on E. It was 110 bucks for 33 gallons, and that was for the cheap gas right now. Maybe I'll get some paid for that, but whatever, you know, times are tough. We got the Wrigley Man dropped off, so we're gonna get a little mountain bike session in real quick. Probably bust out about, usually I tend to do about 17 miles in just over an hour. So, we're gonna bust that out. You know, the other thing too that we could talk about on my way, when I got the Kenda Cleavers, these were 12 and a half wides and on 33s and I had the 33 12 and a half Ridge Grappler but the deal was these are kind of a meatier tire so when I put them on I was like I, I kind of did some gas mileage calculations and I, my first thought was dude I'm like down on the actual mileage part you know I was like I think I've I for sure am losing some with these tires so I just was like you know what my truck is just not going to get as good as gas mileage, but they were a cheaper tire. But I was, you know, in, in my mind, I'm like, you know, is it really going to be cheaper? Like, would it have paid off more to have the Ridge Grappler versus this? Well, then I probably drove on this for a solid, I don't know, two months like that. And then that's when my brake caliper was sticking so bad, I could tell the truck was just pulling to the right. So I was like, okay, something's wrong with the truck got out the brakes were smoking hot we ended up putting on a new caliper new rotor new brake pads instantly the truck just rolled smoother my gas mileage went up and I started to notice even better gas so basically when I got these tires that caliper was already sticking and it just but it wasn't enough for me to notice but I think it was enough resistance wise and then because it would still drive straight for the most part. Like I didn't feel pull and I pay attention to my steering all the time. I just hate if my truck is not driving straight. Yeah, upon replacing that, mileage went up. Um, just towing my boat and everything, the mileage difference. So that made me feel better. I was like, okay, so these tires didn't kill my gas that bad because I just couldn't imagine them being that dramatic. That's the deal with the tires. I'd never had the truck with stock tires or, or like a not so wide tire. So I really don't know what kind of gas mileage I could be getting. But when you're getting smiles per gallon, it does not matter the price. That concludes our mountain bike session. Hopefully the footage came out pretty good. I was using my iPhone 13 Pro, used it in the cinema, or, uh, slow mo mode, so hopefully it uh, came out good. And shout out to the one dude, uh, Anthony. He seen me hooking up my tripod to a tree out there, and he turned around and was like, "Hey, you want me to?" Uh, he's like, "You want me to take a video for you?" I'm like, "Sure, man." So, thank you. But uh, I think a few of the other shots, they're just I brought out a tripod and wrapped it around my handlebars and. Made it work. I want to take I want to take the big camera out there, but the problem is I can't haul this camera around out there. It would be like a disaster. But that's enough about the mountain bikes. Let's get back into what we're here for, and that's smiles per gallon I'm getting in the truck currently. The one other thing that has helped was putting in a K&N filter. It's such a subjective talk, but upon getting the K&N filter, I really do feel like it it helped out. I I kind of just monitored it. <clears throat> now the other thing it could be is my other filter was so dirty that when you put a clean filter in it does help your mile per gallon so maybe that's that's how K&N gets you you swap out to their filter well let's think about this some people probably do just go off and put a K&N in right away even when they have a clean filter but most of the time you're dirty your filters dirty you're like well I might as well throw K&N in it and then you're like dude this thing helped gas mileage I don't think the K&N you can go wrong with just because you can clean it things like that either way I just feel like for the price it could help 
a little bit. It obviously is going to help with airflow some, but is it needed? No. The other thing, I typically always try to keep my tires aired up correctly, and I'm usually running anywhere from 37 to 40 PSI. I, some people might think that's low, but that's pretty uh, that's pretty generic for 22s, especially 12 and a half wides. Uh, because I had this issue when I had the Nitto Ridge Grapplers, I even called in to Nitto, and this was for Nitto, to run that tire pressure. When I bought the tires, it says max PSI, 60 PSI. So what did discount tire do? 60 PSI in every tire. I drove off, every bump I hit, the truck just shifted. So for the most part, I haven't really been, I don't, I'm probably like everyone else, I really don't care about my mileage, it is what it is. When I first maybe do a mod to the truck, or if I first buy a new truck, I'm like, oh, I gotta try to get the best gas mileage out of it. And then like three weeks in, I'm ripping around town, in the throttle, getting way less mile per gallon than what I should be. So for instance, my last full tank, I have the 36 gallon tank on this. I did like a 50-50 right now currently, upon filling up, it says I'm, I'm here's where I'm at. Hopefully you guys can see that. <clears throat> So I'm, I'm a little over half full with 312 miles till E, and right now I'm averaging 12.9. And I've been doing a lot more city driving than highway. So usually when I'm in town a lot more than I'm normally on the highway, I'm, I see this truck all the time in the 12s. But when I'm more highway bound, I'm more usually, I'm more high 13s um, and above, so usually you know 13.5 to you know over 14 but 15 is kind of that would have to be probably all highway and I'd have to be out of the throttle I'm almost home we're gonna pull in take a shower and get a little cleaned up got a little sweaty out there and we're gonna hang out with the Wrigley man We have secured the Wrigley. Wrigley? He has a slobbering mess all over the passenger seat. And usually what I do to clean it is like, I don't just take a rag, I take a brush with car wash soap and brush it clean because he's a slobbering mess, but I love that dude. We're in route, we're gonna pick up some Slim Chickens. It's pretty much my go-to. I haven't had it for a couple weeks now. Even though you might think from watching another video, I just had it, but it has been a couple weeks. It's kind of on a kick there for with it. The other thing that I've thought about doing, I've so many times I've contemplated switching up wheels and tires because when I do haul the boat, my gas mileage just sucks. It's not going to ever be great with a five liter V8. Finally, we secured the Slim Chickens. The last full tank of gas, I did monitor it. I tried to keep out of the gas so much. I think I ended up ending with about 13.9 miles per gallon, and that was the average. And I think our full tank was, we ended up about 460 miles to a whole tank of gas. That's with the 36 gallon tank. I was trying my hardest to like not be in the throttle. We so. just pulled in. So to cap this video off, basically, I'm averaging about 440 to 460 um, miles to a full tank on a 36 gallon tank. And we're averaging anywhere, usually from 12 point, 12 and a half to, you know, 14 miles per gallon. I'm guessing I could probably be more 15 if I'm pure highway most of the time. But, and then if I'm driving around with like my boat, I'm actually in like the tens, maybe nines, which is horrible. But uh, I mean, what can you do? And I've thought about switching tires. I've thought about switching to maybe like a 20. And I've also thought about switching to a not so wide tire. But you know what? I just love the way the 22s look. So I guess I'm just going to pay for shittier gas mileage. Whatever. Smiles per gallon. Smiles per gallon. But that's all we got for you guys today. Wrigley, what are you going to tell them? I better see you guys smash that subscribe button. And make sure to like this video because me and Wrigley would appreciate it. We will see you guys on the next one. Peace.